Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another episode. I apologize for taking so long to get back into the B-Wing model build. As you know, if you follow my channel, I've had a lot of changes in the last six months moving to a new home out of state. Um, so I've just been trying to get my life back into a uh, normalcy here, and I'm finally starting to get around to that. So let's dive back into this uh, B-Wing model build. So we have here the uh, B-Wing engine section of the model, and this is what I'm going to be working on next, and it fits right inside the body here like so. This piece here with the clear part is the lighted engine pieces that come with the kit, and there's a LED that goes in here that shines through this center hole here, and there's a lens reflector that goes out to these four clear pieces to light up the engines. So my plan for mounting the B-Wing is I have this quarter inch brass tubing which fits right through the center of the engine section here. Um, but we do have this issue where it bottoms out and I'm going to cut this out and remove it as I've done here so that my tubing can go all the way through then I can run all my wires for electronics through the tubing into the model. Now normally these engine pieces would fit over these clear pieces that come with the kit to light the engines. And then you have these other little inserts that go inside the engines. And again the kit LED would shine through those plastic pieces. But for my build, I will not be using this whole engine piece here because I'm going to light each engine individually. I'll be using these three millimeter yellow flickering LEDs. And you can see how it looks here. And then what's really nice is they just practically snap right into the hole. It's the same size, three millimeter, and they're self-holding. I don't even have to do anything, although I will put some glue in there. But what I've done here is I've sanded down the end of the lens a little bit to diffuse it so it's not quite as harsh a light. And you can kind of tell here that it's not so harsh. But if you compare it here, you can see the sanded on the left and unsanded on the right. And you can see how the right is a lot more harsh. So I'm going to sand down all the lenses to diffuse them a bit. So this engine piece here, what I'm going to do is pull these off. I have my brass tubing which will go through the center. Purpose of this is it'll allow the model to rotate, you know, 90 degrees to turn horizontal or vertical. But the problem is the engine piece slides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this O-ring over the brass tubing. Then the tubing will go inside and then the o-ring will hold it one direction and then I have this washer which I will secure to the inside which will be a block so that the engine housing cannot come off the end of the tubing and then the rubber washer I will move forward and push up against the rear of the engine housing to hold the housing secure so it can't move forward or backwards but it will still have the ability to rotate around the tubing so that I can rotate the whole ship from a vertical to a horizontal position while it's on. And you can see I can just rotate this around the copper tubing. Then what I'm going to do is mark the outside of the tubing here with a sharpie where I want it to bend because I want it to come out the back and then bend 90 degrees down and go into the base. So I have my tubing bender here and I'm going to stick the tube in, line it up where I want the bend to happen with my mark from the Sharpie and then carefully I am going to bend the tubing into position and make a 90 degree bend to go down to the base. Then the tubing will fit right through the center here you can see it'll come out the inside and it allows room for the engine area to rotate 
around the tubing and it'll be supported by the base. So here we have this little white piece which goes inside the engine housing here and this white piece you'll see on the actual filming miniature it's more of like a silver metal looking piece and this is the actual filming miniature so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use silver but I'm going to use gun metal and I'm just going to use this pastel and I'm just going to go around a little bit of the outside here but I'm going to put it on the inside and I'm just going to smear it around in here and make the inside of it kind of a metallic look but it also looks a little dirty and it's closer looking to the way the actual filming miniature was and then it'll just push right inside the engine right here and you can see I've gone and I've done all four of those now and they have a little more of a metallic look to them but also a little burn look and I'm gonna go around the outside of the engines also with the same pastel and I'm gonna lightly go around them because the gray color is accurate but I'm making it look a little more metallic you can see the gray and the metallic gray there it has the same color but just looks a little more metallic and then I'm also gonna go through with some oil stain pastel and just darken it up I'm also going to put a little bit inside the engine scoops here just to make it look like they're a little charred as well. And I'm pretty happy with the way this is looking. It looks a little more like metal engine cones and like there's some wear from heat. And then again, here it is with one of the LEDs inside there and it snaps right into place. Put all four of them in there. And here's how it looks when you turn them on and they're on flickering and I'm definitely liking the way this is looking so far. So I've gone and I have painted the tubing with Rust-Oleum primer and then a flat black because I want it to be flat black and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my o-ring and slide it over the one end here and move it into the position that I want to hold the engine compartment in place and this is where I want it to be set and I'm going to go around and just apply some super glue around the outside edge of the o-ring and you can see I've gone around the entire o-ring and I'm going to secure that and glue that into position so it can't slide then I've got the tubing here I'm going to pull two of these engine cones off and the tubing fits right down the center there and you can see the engine housing goes right up against that washer and it holds it in place and there's a little bit of the tubing that sticks out on the inside which is what I want put these cones back on and you can see how it rotates freely around the tubing and then I've got my washer here which I need to secure to the tubing on the inside of the model. So what I have here is I have the steel stick which is JB Weld. It's a metallic putty actually. It has steel inside the putty. And I'm going to take some of the putty here and I'm going to just squish that together with my fingers and get it into the state that can be applied to the tubing. Now that it's been kneaded long enough and I'm just gonna press it on one side of the washer here pinch off the excess and keep just what I need to apply over the face of the entire washer. And I'm just gonna use a toothpick here and kinda dig out the center portion of the putty from the center of the washer and try to make a clean hole so that my wires for the model can travel through the washer so there we have the putty on the one side of the washer the other side is clean and I've gone and I've pressed it and secured it to the tubing let it dry and you can see it's nice and solid and secure and the engine housing rotates and here's just how it'll work with the model on there you can see the model will be able to be vertical or I can rotate it into a horizontal position either direction freely and it won't slide back and forth on the tubing. 
So then I'm just going to insert my four flickering LEDs into the four engine housings here. And then I'm just going to use some regular white Elmer's glue and just shoot some to run down the LEDs and just hold them in position in the model just as a little extra security. And I've got all four of them glued into position here and they're pretty well secured. And then one last test and here they are on flickering and you can see that the whole engine will rotate around the tubing. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, getting very close to the finish line here. Pretty much all the different parts of the ship are done. Now it's just ready to be assembled so next video will be pretty much assembling the final model together. Uh, then there will be doing the base with the electronics and then it's going to be finished so just probably a couple more episodes to go and we'll be all done and um, I appreciate you sticking around and uh, waiting for me to go through my personal things and get back to doing my videos so um, thanks again for watching see you next time If you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.